what is the most efficient way to sort a million 32-bit integers? <laughs> I, I think, uh, I think the, uh, the bubble sort would be the wrong way to go. Sorting is at the very heart of what computers do. In fact, in many ways, it was sorting that brought the computer into being. The first code ever written for a stored program computer was a program for efficient sorting. From our social media newsfeed to email inboxes to Google search results, sorting is much more ubiquitous in our everyday lives than we realize. Let us start with a backstory. In the late 1800s, the American population was growing by 30% every decade. So, the tabulation of the 1880 US population census took about eight years, just barely finishing by the time the 1890 census began. This was heading towards a disaster and something had to be done. Enter Herman Hollerith. Inspired by punched railway tickets of the time, Hollerith devised a tabulating machine with a sorting box to help solve the census problem. This device was in many ways an ancestor which set the right path forward for the then world of computing. His idea was that data could be encoded by holes punched in a card and thereby counted and sorted electronically. Here's what the description of the replica at the Computer History Museum USA reads. The 60 million cards punched in the 1890 United States Census were fed manually into machines like this for processing. The dials counted the number of cards with holes in a particular position. The sorter on the right would be activated by certain hole combinations allowing detailed statistics to be generated, like for example, the number of married farmers over 40 years of age. An average operator could process about 7000 cards a day, at least 10 times faster than manual methods. Hollerith then went on to start his own business which specialized in punched card data processing equipment. His firm merged with several others in 1911 to become the computing tabulating recording company. A few years later, the company was renamed to International Business Machines or IBM for short. In 1936, IBM began producing a line of machines called collators that could merge two separately ordered stacks of cards into one. John Von Neumann wrote a program in 1945 to demonstrate the power of the stored program computer and he took this idea of collating to its beautiful and ultimate conclusion. Sorting two cards is simple. Just put the smaller card on top. Now given a pair of two cards, both of them sorted, you can easily collate them into an ordered stack of four. Repeat this very trick a few times, you would build bigger and bigger stack of cards, each of them already sorted. And soon enough, you have a perfectly sorted full deck. This approach is known today as merge sort, one of the most legendary algorithms in computer science. But more on merge sort later, which I believe deserves a video of its own. In fact, sorting was such a big deal that by the 1960s, one study estimated that more than a quarter of the computing resources of the world were being spent on sorting alone. Oh.